out to say I'm on the grind trying to make a hundred thousand dollars a day. We play with big cash and we're blowing money fast, riding in a plush Benz trunk full of money bags. I need a G for every light bulb on the Vegas strip. Naked bitches in my mansion dancing to some player shit. Made a grip on the grind. Ladies and gentlemen, back from their hiatus, the VIP Sports Podcast, Steve Stevens. With the big skipper. 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 Where's the skipper? Ladies and gentlemen, VIP Sports Podcast, Friday morning, June 26, 2015. Yes, we're back, ladies and gentlemen. And goddamn, has it been a long time. Still can't get this sleepy third out of my eyes, bro. <laughs> I gotta yeah. wake the fuck up to get I, my cake up. Oh, uh, when I seen you this morning, buddy, I was like, where has my number one gun been, bro? Yeah, you been laying on a beach sleeping or what? No, nah, skipper don't lay on no beaches, man. Dude, well, they think it might. You think it'd be a beach dwell if uh, I saw. Fucking women be going crazy. I guarantee they would. You got your wrestling weight yeah. back over the last couple days, huh? Yeah, we're doing pretty good, man. Sorry about the hiatus, people, <laughs> but uh, we've been away, not for without good reason, though. I want to. First thing I want to do is congratulate you, man. Hey. You did it again, baby girl, into the family. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, why we were on our little hiatus? Like I said, I'm sorry, but anybody in business, anybody making money, Skip, you were the first to understand. I had my little baby girl, Abrielle Lynn Notero, uh, June 11th, uh, 2015. Uh, just my pride and joy, man. It was just amazing. And one thing about it, guys, I don't care what you do in this life. I don't care how much money you got. Family always comes first. Absolutely. Period. And, and that's one thing that, you know, I understand with my top-notch guys, you know. Uh, they run multi-million dollar business. We understand that family and your business is more important than gambling. But, you know, at the end of the day, my baby girl's changed me, man. I'm excited, and uh, it brings me to the point. I got something for you, brother. Oh, yeah? You still like those Cohibas, right? Oh, yeah. I'll take it. You know how Steve Stevens rolls. I could have got a box of the, uh, you know, little cheapos, but uh, I figured I'd give you one of those Cohibas. Try not to smoke that thing till we get done with our podcast. I know you stay pumped and dumped. You know uh, what I mean? Not for all a little Cohiba. But, yeah, man, I want to give a shout-out to Kelly, my girl. Thanks, for, man. You know, no problem, brother, and man. Congratulations I, in all sincerity. I appreciate it, man. You know. Having a baby girl is a lot different than the boy, brother. Yeah. You know, I'm blessed enough to have little D where he's two years old, my daughter now, so he's going to be able to protect her. But I uh, want to give a big shout-out to uh, Kelly for having my baby girl. Absolutely. You know, Way great go, fucking Kelly. job. And, uh, you know, Way she kicked ass. And to every woman out there that gives birth and does their thing and is a good mom and wow. handles their business, Ooh. you know, you guys go through some major, major shit. Not something I want to endure. Well, no, and guys like me don't give them no credit for it. You know, yeah. I'm like, no big deal. But, yeah. you know, after that last one, man, ladies, you know, without you, we wouldn't even have birth. And like I said, my baby girl is the pride and joy of my life, and I just couldn't be more excited. But the hiatus is over. It's our second official VIP Sports video Perfect. podcast. We're back. <laughs> but anyway, man, like I said, I couldn't be more excited. We're back at it. VIP Sports. And listen, man, I want to be the first to thank everybody. I want to thank you. I want to thank Veronica. I want to thank Skipper, the big Skip, uh, you know, a.k.a. the chiropractor, straightens people out. Just holding down the fort, partner. You know, you've, you've held down the fort while I was gone for these last few weeks. And uh, I just really appreciate it. I mean, I was completely surprised. The business ran completely smooth. Yeah, smoother than I thought. Smoother than uh, your new baby's ass. Uh, smoother than a baby's <laughs> ass. That would be <laughs> smooth like an ointment. Yeah. Suckers with static approach, you smoke like a joint. Smooth. All right, so. But the listen, now, we can hold this fort down without you around here. As no, no. As, and as, I, as long as you send the games in, we'll be fine. And I really appreciate it because, like I said, I had a little hey, you know, I went off with the hiatus and hung with my baby girl. She's doing good. Haven't really posted any photos because, I don't know, I'm a fucking weirdo, dude. My son, I, I put on TV. I had him. I, as, well, I got, in due time, they'll be there. Of course they will, but I'm yeah. just, I, I don't want to put my baby little, girl yeah, out you there. you got to be a little more protective of the, uh, of the female. Yeah, well, that's a fucking fact. But I want to thank everybody for the over, overwhelming support that you guys have given me. All the letters, all the emails, all the gifts that I've got from my clients, all my big boys out there. Thanks for the support, man. I appreciate you guys working with me through tough times, but uh, at the end of the day, I'm back. Why don't we get uh, right back into it? As you know, VIP Sports, uh, official second podcast of yep. our video podcast deal. There'll be many more of these to come. There's going to be a lot more to come, guys. We don't know how many we're going to be able to bring you per week right now due to my situation and, you know, being on a slow time. Since we've been gone, let's talk about a little bit of what's happened. Since we've been gone. 
Absolutely. Since we've been gone, Skip, like I said, we were holding down the fort. Golden they said, State? Golden State won the championship? Since Golden State gone? won the NBA championship. I want to give a big shout-out to Golden State and Oakland. Put it down for the Bay. Rep in Oakland, baby, all day long. They deserve, they deserve it. LeBron, you look like shit. For a guy with your power, for a guy of your skill, to not be able to go to the hole and not be able to take over a game and not be able to control the situation, that's why you'll never be a motherfucking Michael Jordan. I thought he was a beast, man. I like him. I love you. Just don't get me wrong. Michael Jordan's a closer. You can't, you can't do it. I mean, a one-man show, you're not going to beat the Golden State Warriors with a one-man show. Uh, Mike would have. He did the best he could. Uh, he, how the fuck Michael he... Michael Jordan would have beat him? Michael, Michael Jordan would Michael, Michael Jordan would steal on his own player to make sure they did their job and played their position. He only need people to play their position. He could have went to the hole a lot more. Nobody can stop this guy. Um, game three, whatever, uh, you know, a couple different situations where he was backed up when they had the game. You don't pass the ball. Let me just let me get it straight. LeBron, you're the best player in NBA, and it's going to be an argument whether you or Jordan finish stronger. Uh, that that's fine, but he could have went to the hole a lot more, controlled the game, and I felt like he passed the ball a little too much for his talent. Okay, well, I I, I thought he was a true warrior. I, I thought he did the best he could without love and Kyrie Irving. You want to give it up for Andre Iguodala, Lala? If you want to get holla, Lala's. Yeah, MVP of the series. Andre right, Iguodala. Yeah. Him. Yeah, congratulations so for I MVP. Know you're a fan? Yeah, I mean, uh, I love winners, you know what I mean? You love winners? What the fuck kind of answer is that? You love winners, man. You love girls, too, Big dude. Big Jordan in the house here today? Yeah, we're sitting in here. We got Big Jordan in the house. One of the four kings been sitting here chilling. And, uh, just another sixer. Uh, just another sixer Philadelphia got rid of. That's all. Yeah, he, Matt. He used to be a sixer. To, as a matter of fact, good friend of mine. Iguodala? Well, good friend of mine, uh, Terrell Jamerson. I uh, used to play for the UNLV Running Rebels. I went to school with him myself. He went to Western Warrior. Yeah, he's a Western Warrior. Shout out to Western High School out there. Uh, my high school is so fucking roguish now that uh, they actually lost their football program. Mm. Only team in Clark County history lost their football program due to not having enough players eligible. Really? Wow. <laughs> Great school, huh? We had metal detectors and shit when I was going there. It was pretty, pretty thugged out. Yeah. Pretty strong academic. Yeah, it was a race of uh, it was about 50% black, 30 white, and about 20 Mexican and Indian. So, you know, it, it was a good school. But Terrell Jamerson, great friend of mine, um, he's a strength trainer for uh, Iguodala. Oh, and really? uh, he's been working with him nonstop. And cool. he's one of your Philly boys. What do you got to say about it? Just uh, another contact, another Steve Stevens contact directly into the NBA. It's a fucking fact. He, one thing it's that not he, what you know, it's who you know. Oh, that's a fact. And what, what, what I do know is he needs to work on his free throws. He <laughs> needs to work on his free throw game well, a little bit. I think congratulations on the MVP trophy. Congratulations absolutely. on uh, being crowned the NBA champions. So big up to Just Oakland. Hey, big up to Oakland. You guys kicked fucking ass. Um, overall, as an NBA season, I was a little disappointed. Um, maybe because I'm getting a little older. I mean, I follow the league. I know they have sharp shooters. Just wasn't too exciting for me. I mean, at one point, I thought LeBron James was going to win it all by himself. Yeah. You know, and I was thinking, how, how good is the league when one player can win by themselves? So... They did show a little face by beating Cleveland. Well, personally, I've never been a huge fan of the NBA. However, we made a fortune betting the NBA, and that's all that matters. Our clients did very well in the NBA season. Why don't we get that straight uh, out right now? I personally made a fortune in the NBA. From the year. bottom of my heart. And I thank you for that. To the NBA, yeah. and for every player, to the commissioner, and everything involved with NBA, VIP Sports, a big skipper, Steve Stevens, thanks you from the bottom of our heart. Absolutely. And, and, yeah. and, and, and to all the casinos out there that we broke over the year, we want to thank you, too. We had a big NBA season. We so, kicked ass NBA. It was can't, over. Can't wait for it to come back, actually. No. But, you know, at the end of the day, you got to move on to the next sports. You know, like yeah. I said, you don't want to be like that jerk off we recorded. You know, you don't want to let the sport pick you. No. You pick the sport. Right. <laughs> American Farrell. What about American Farrell? One to <laughs> American Farrell ran her. That motherfucker ran till his ass foamed up and got the motherfucking <laughs> triple crown, baby. Their asses do foam up. That's disgusting. Yeah, speaking of the Triple Crown. They tie I, their fucking tongues down, their asses foam up. Yeah. How is that not animal, animal abuse? It's friction. It's that ass, that, that those ass cheeks are... They chalk up their ass, man. Yeah, they put chalk I mean, in there. Jordan, I'm sure you've ran a fucking girl where her ass is foamed up before, <laughs> huh? What What is that? Just a little bit of friction or what? <laughs> yeah. Now, do you keep going when the ass foams or do you tell her to get a wet nap and kind of like fucking get a 20-minute break? <laughs> you keep going. Huh? Oh, you keep going. That's why you're with me. Uh, that motherfucker goes hard in the paint no matter what. <laughs> you got to keep a real warrior with you. You want a mother... Ladies, and, ladies out there, if you're single, if you're looking for a guy that's going to run you till your ass foams up and keep going, <laughs> you call Big Jordan, VIPSports.com. He'll take care of business. Oh, shit. <laughs>
Hey guys, I'm so glad. Listen, hey, I'm so glad that we're back, man. I'm doing what I love to do. Skip, I'm. Uh, it's that's an amazing feat, the triple crown. I mean, uh, shout out to America. Hey, so hey, what was the exact amount? Thirty-eight years. Jesus, I'll tell you one thing. Thirty-seven years, 37 man. Thirty-seven years, man. That's a great, Woo. great accomplishment. I want to give and, it out to. Uh, now he's getting about thirty million dollars for his nuts, right? Oh yeah. Every time this horse fucking ejaculates, I mean, you're talking oh, millions. They don't even want him to nut without it going oh, into a cup. What no, do you mean? He's getting, I'm yeah, they're shooting him. They're shooting him dry because there's really nothing else for him to do at this yeah, point. That's job. what I was going to ask you about. Even though I'm in this business real big, I'm not, you know, at every horse track. But what's next for a horse like American Pharaoh? Nothing. Just eat. Get well, your fucking nuts, Rob. Eat well and get laid. Eat the finest yeah, foods. Yeah. Fuck, bust nuts, and yeah. live the life till you can't Just live no eat more, right? Eat the finest food. Uh, live in the finest fucking stable. A horse like that and doesn't have a chance in the world of getting put down. His career's done. He made oh, it through. That horse is just shooting nuts and eating well and living large, man. What about A Rod? Oh, I get that job. Yeah. Off to the next one. A Rod, 3,000 hits. A lot of people, I know you don't like A Rod. That's why I wanted to ask you personally, you know. Ne Needle Boy? Yeah. Let me, let me say this about A Rod. This is my thoughts on A Rod. I mean, obviously, you know, he did what he did. He's a cheater, he's a liar, and all the, all, all the above. And, uh, he hasn't been good for the game. However, now that let's hope that he is clean, I mean, he, he, he's having a decent year. He's hitting the ball. He, I mean, his 3,000 3, fit, he hit a home run, jacked it into the seats. I mean, good for him, I suppose. I just have a hard time liking the guy. All right. And, and I'm, a, I'm a baseball purist. I'm a huge baseball fan, as you know. Uh, it's my favorite sport. I'm just... You know, I know. How can I be a fan of A-Rod? I mean, it's just hard to do. That's why I love having you on the show, but, you know, and you have to give your honest opinion, and that's what I want you to understand. Our job as our VIP sports podcast is to give our opinion and to let people know exactly what's going on. So I just want people to know, you know, the information, what's popping, what's not, and just... He's still hitting the ball without the juice. I mean, congratulations on putting one in the bleachers for your 3,000th hit. I mean, that's, So basically, A-Rod hits his 3,000th, you know, his 3,000th <laughs> hit, yeah. and for you, oh well. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. So no big deal for a guy like you. Not... not Doesn't mean nothing in baseball. Not I'm pretty... For, not for him. Okay. I mean, he's tainted. He's dirty. All right. Let's uh, move on to Washington. They've been fucking playing, you know, up and down, up and down. Pretty good team. Max Scherzer sipping on some scissor. Scherzer, uh, his last two performances, obviously, uh, just phenomenal. Well, you're uh, talking about uh, player of the week following a, a no, no hitter and a one hitter in the previous start. Yeah, and he blew a perfect game by hitting the last batter. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah. Also came one strike away from a perfect game in that no hitter. Yeah, one strike away from uh, one batter away from a perfect game. And he beamed the batter, and they're saying he leaned into it, and you know the hitter leaned into it. Well, what? Listen, I, um, umps know what's going bottom on. Line, bottom line, phenomenal job. Yeah, I mean, you remember. It's uh, a shame you blew a perfect game by hitting a batter. You know, the last batter when you needed one out. But however, I mean, what a game. Yeah, I don't. What a two games, really. I, I'm trying to think the referee, and I'm not going to get into it. But do you remember the referee that didn't call a home run or for yep. somebody or something? He yeah. was all sad and he was all fucked up and apologized oh, to the, the player. Oh, the umpire blew the call at first base. Blew the call at first base. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what? You know you got to stick to your guns and be a man, but uh, don't go publicly crying because there's no crying in baseball. Yeah, However, was that? was that Joyce? I think that was Joyce. Was the is he still umping? Is he still umping? I think he's still around. Yeah. All right. So, Skip. He's a, he's a veteran. He's, he's been around forever. So, just to sum up, like I said, Golden State won the championship. American Pharaoh's kicking fucking ass. Uh, A-Rod hit his 3,000th uh, hit. Scherzer's and uh, a, Scherzer's a beast. And Scherzer's a motherfucking all-out beast. His last two outs, he's been a monster beast. What's been happening with you in your life, brother? What, what's been going on? I know I've been gone for about three weeks uh, having well, my baby girl. You know, I'll be honest with you. I wasn't around the office every day. I mean, I snuck away uh, quite a bit, actually. What? I still held down the floor. I went, up, <laughs> I went up to San Francisco, caught the uh, series with the Pirates, three-game series up there. Pirates, yeah. Pirates swept them. It was a nice time. Well, little shout-out to Gino and Carlos, hanging out up there at Gino and Carlos for a couple cocktails after the game. So you went on the full San Francisco treatment, huh? Uh, yeah, I sure did. I got a couple pictures of your fine dining and the shit that you were yeah, doing. Yeah, I had some nice dinner at Scoma's, if anyone's familiar with Scoma's, back in the alley there in the wharf. I'm more interested in Gino and Carlos, man. I I've been there a few times. I love the place with uh, the peaches. You tell these people about Gino and Carlos. Out Gino there in San Francisco. Gino and Carl's a uh, little old school, uh, let's just say connected place, you know, maybe a couple card games in the back room back in the day, shoot a little billiards, you know. So, you know, that's living life. For, I mean, it, you know, when you retire here, you know, which isn't going to be too long, hopefully I can keep you for another fucking five. Hmm. Looks like you'll be running in three. Well, but the countdown's uh, on. I know, but, uh, you know, and, and it's going to be great to the end, but is that where you're going when you're done? Cause I know no, I just I just love visiting San Francisco. You don't want to live there. I, I wouldn't live there. It's uh it's extremely expensive. It's just uh, 
Uh, Jordan, will you it, will you roll some? It's a great place. It's a great place to visit. It's my favorite city to visit. Lots of things to do there. Love the ballpark there. Uh, love Golden Golden Boy Pizza. Best uh, thick pizza in the country for my money. Uh, yeah. Sorry, New York, but Golden Boys is pretty strong in San Francisco. Man, you got your opinion. Fuck you, you want You want some thin crust pie? Go to New York. No Absolutely. Problem. You want a cheesesteak? Go to Philly. Absolutely. Uh, you want a good thick crust pizza? A little focaccia on the focaccia? Yeah, go to San Francisco. Because that's Golden where it's Boy, at. Golden Boys Pizza. By the way, it's right next door to Gino and Carlos, if you're looking for it. Up there on Green Street. Not to mention, have the fucking pieces of pizza or what? Like fucking set 20 inches fucking oh, they're, long they're, or what? They're nice slices. Yeah, I mean, it's three, a big ass three, slice. Three fifty. I mean, it's cheap. They got a couple drafts on tap. Right next door to Gino Carlos, as I said, beautiful place. I love to hear it, man. Yeah. Seeing that smile on your face, man. See, that's what the skip. If you're, on... go, if you're going to San Fran, you don't have to North Beach. I mean, shame on you. Go it to ain't... Green Street, North Beach. Go to Gino and Carlos. Go get yourself some pizza next door at Golden Boys. Go to the ball game at AT and T. That's what I've been doing, Steve. Well, good. And for you hard workers out there that grind like Skip, that make fucking anywhere from a half a million to a million dollars a year, that love to go to the casino and, and gamble and spend hundreds of thousand dollars. Go take a fucking break like Skip just did. I can do that anytime. I do that six You days, look better than I've ever seen you in a long fucking time. It's because yeah. you've been kicking it with your family, huh? Yeah. Hey, nothing. I've been having some quality time with the son. He's out of school now. School's over. Uh, he's taking a little break from baseball. Got to go back and uh, see my mom back east and uh, bring her Well, here. I mean, uh, I heard Big Mom's is... Uh, mom's going to be retiring out here in uh, Sin City in the land of the sun. Well, her son's doing very well. Yeah, we're doing very well. Signed and, uh, a major podcast deal. Her son's sitting on seven figures. Congra- congratulations to the skipper for well, she, she, your, your, your part in the podcast deal. Yeah, you... Yeah, he became a millionaire from the podcast deal, but we're not talking about money. Well, she don't need to know about money. No, well, of course not. But, hey, and we're not going to talk about money, but, hey, we're blessed. Yeah. And we're just it, now it, coming up, and our fans are going to grow and come up with us. And, by the good. way, you know, all, we're at, like, 5,000 you know, 5, views on our organic video podcast. Mm-hmm. I appreciate everybody that's following. Big shout-out to all our fans out there. It's only going to get better. It's going to be more frequent. Uh, when football starts, you're going to love it. It'll we're be talking, hundreds of thousands. Yeah, we're talking three, four days a week come August. Uh if you're only getting a couple of week right now, sit back, relax. Uh, they're they're going to be coming. Let me get something off my chest because you know we you know we got to talk about Hollywood too. You know one thing about the VIP Sports Polyca- you know podcast, it's all about what's hot in Hollywood, and everything the ins and outs of sports. A little bit of our sales force and take you into the life of the number one documented motherfucker in the world, Steve Stevens, the bookie killer. Show you guys how you can make money the real fucking way. Give you an inside you know source right there. When we start doing our podcast, you're going to see our sales room. We're going to show these motherfuckers how we you get the money. got the cameras out there right well, now. Yeah, I know. We're yeah. going to show them how we get money, how we sell people, and they yeah. still won't be able to do it. Our yeah. competitors still won't be able to do it. No. I want to talk about Caitlyn Jenner. Why? Well, why? Because I haven't got a chance to talk to her. I mean, if I was single and wasn't putting out a kid every other oh, year, I, I mean... See, did you see her or him or whatever listen, the fuck he is on the cover? Of, if, if whoever... The cover of Vanity Fair? Yeah, it was disgusting. Oh, my God. It, it made me fucking sick. Unbelievable. Uh, OMG. Yeah. And, 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 and... and and what and Kim wants him to look good and Does every he time still have a dick or I mean has he cut his That's what I his... wanted to talk about. This is this is what I want to bring up a little bit. That's that's what I was going to get to because it's still a big topic for me. Okay, I'm going to give you. Like, I'm, I'm thinking give that you 90 seconds with this. Well, we need to put a line out. I think we need to get with our guys either at Cantor or William Hill and put a line out okay. on on Bruce Jenner. How is he going to be before or after his surgery? In other words, when he gets his dick cut off, mm-hmm. is he just going to float into the wind and just be a woman and be happy and be himself? Mm-hmm. Or is he going to flip the fuck out, realize he's an Olympic champion who lost his cock that's turned into a woman, find himself on the Virgin Islands, fingering his pussy, wondering what the fuck went wrong? That's what the fuck you bet. I'm, I'm betting heavy on the ladder, sir. So you're saying, huh? I say he's fingering himself on the beach in Virgin Islands saying, what in the fuck have I done to myself? Your bet is he's fingering his fucking one in his ass. I'm betting heavy money on that. One in the shooter, one in the cooter. Yeah. So one finger in his puss, one in his ass, enjoying his life, going out in peace. I'm going with the ladder. All right. I'm saying that I still don't know due to the fact that the Kardashian girls has fucked this guy's head up beyond fucking uh, belief. This never would have happened if uh, he never would have married this woman. But at the same time, he had kids with him, and I know how that is now, so you just got to roll with the punches. Anybody that ever watched that show, well, you don't have to do it the either. guy got abused the whole fucking time. It's almost like America got to see him turn gay. Honestly. He started real manly when that show started. He got verbal, and then, yeah, he got verbally smacked around on a, on a regular daily basis. However, you don't let that take you to the point where you're doing. He's the only he cut your dick off because of it. It's a longer story, and uh, Jordan can <laughs> speak on it. It has a lot to do with the hormones and all that type of shit. All I'm trying to oh, say God. is that if you're a guy like Dennis Rodman, if you're a cross-dresser, you want to turn your cock into a pussy and all that, 
he would be the best guy in the world to take out. Think about it. He doesn't want, if you're a male, he has a lot of money. All this guy wants is a good conversation, wants to play a couple rounds of golf and play chess with you. Listen, I'm, I'm sure they're already lining up to get a, to, to get a date. If, if me That's and Kelly far. ever break up, I'm, I'm, I'll take Bruce Jenner out. Listen, oh, he doesn't God. want, listen, he don't want to fuck you. I got to turn this off now. I got to stop you now. You're getting a little too fucking crazy. Listen. <laughs> you're talking about going out with Kate and Jenner. No. <laughs> I'm not going out so with Kate. Settle down. All I'm saying is. I don't know what you're Kate, smoking over there, man. But let, the, you I, must, hey, you're older. You don't understand, Skip. A lot of these young guys, what, what guys do when they come out of college is, you know, you're, you're trying to find a girl with some fucking money, okay? Guy like Kate and, and my motherfucker's out there, he doesn't want to fuck it. He still likes women. So that's what I'm trying to say. Why would you cut your dick off if you still like women? That's why I'm bringing it up. Why don't you listen to what the fuck I got to say instead of getting so disgusted? He makes me fucking sick too. The guy says, that's what I'm saying, he's contradicting himself. All right. yeah, he says sure. he, he, he feels comfortable as a woman. Mm -hmm. He likes to put dresses on and tuck his cock and balls and fucking rub his nipples yeah, yeah. and yeah. eat he ice to, cream. Yeah, he's got a makeup artist now. Yeah, he's got a makeup artist yeah. and he looks cute and oh, all that yeah. type of shit. And, right. you know, um, so, you know, he, he's comfortable with what he's doing, but he says that he still likes women. He's attracted to women, right. doesn't like men at all. He's not gay, doesn't want to fuck a man, right. never has, right. never has kissed a man, never had an intercourse with a man, never got his dick sucked by a guy. So what's he going to do when he goes to have sex with a woman if he still likes women and not, he cuts his dick? Why the fuck you think I was talking to you? That's why there needs so you to be. A, put odds on this. I think it's going to be a little bit different than a guy just getting his dick cut off and going and living heavily ever, ever after. Right. This guy's not, you know, he says that he, so listen, either come out that you're all the way gay and start sucking cock and balls and get out there in Hollywood and go fuck Dennis Rodman or whoever wants to fuck your dirty ass. You can't have it both ways. You long toe fucking ugly bitch. And get out there and let these motherfuckers, you know, start pounding on you and start sucking some dick because I tell you what. So what do you think, a strap on? I'm thinking that if he still has the sexual desire and wants to fuck women, even the fucking Jenner woman said, like, he fucked the shit out of her when they did fuck. It's the whole reason why they got together. They well, had he's Bruce Jenner. they had mad sex in the beginning he's a though. Fucking decathlon, yeah, I'm sure he. And did. he was a sex addict, and he loved to fuck. Yeah, he's got fucking six kids. Okay, so now we're now you're caught up to speed. Right. A guy that found his feminine side. I'm all right with letting him be gay and wearing dresses, but still having his cock. This is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Here's a guy that likes to fuck women. So now he gets his dick fucked, cut off. He can't fuck women. He has a pussy. You think he's gonna feel the same way that That's he did why before? That's why I'm betting on the latter. He's going to be laying on the beach, finger-banging himself, saying, what in the fuck have I done to myself? Okay, so you're on... Okay, okay. I'm betting the latter. All right, so that's where my opinion stands on that. Uh, stay tuned to be seen. His surgery will be coming up real soon. We'll see what happens. But my advice, man, oh man. my advice, Caitlin, do not get rid of your cock because right now you got it both ways. Hashtag keep the penis. Hashtag keep your cock. <laughs> VIP sports, hashtag keep your cock, Caitlin. <laughs> because I tell you what, those days that you want to push, you know, I wake up with a boner some days, rub it on the sheets. I wake up, Ben Kendi, you know, you got to have sex with your girl and do your thing. Yeah. Those days are over, dude. Oh, so now you are going to be gay because you're not going to be able to fuck women. So come up with something else. Don't contradict yourself. Um, I say keep your cock, and uh, that's that. Okay. Moving on. Yeah. No bass. To, back to our, our the thing that we love to do, VIPSportsLasVegas.com, the number one documented sports service in the world. Yes. To all the sports betters out there, to all the sports fan, I want to I want to make something clear. You know, because fantasy football's got so big, and sports betting has got so big. Oh. You know what the difference is between a. Places, man. Oh yeah, this is oh. about to be legal, and I love it. And thank you guys for doing it. Sports you know, betting's going to be legal all across the country. I'm giving it two years, maybe three at the moment. And we'll be the, the exactly. Well, you know the biggest. It's the, about to explode. You know the difference between a fantasy better and a real sports better. The real sports better pays the bill. Fantasy sports better leaves the till. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the middle. You goddamn right. right. So guys, like I said, there's basketball. Let, let's just get to the point, Skip. To all our when fans. There's no, when there's no basketball and there's no football going on. Life seems to slow down a little bit. Let's you get start, to the point. You, you start having 10-minute conversations about Caitlyn Jenner. When there's no basketball and no football going on presently, that, that, that that's what you're trying Not to say. really. It's just our job to give them Hollywood news, talk a little shit. They like hearing Steve Stevens talk shit till they see my new TV show. They love the skipper talking a little shit about baseball. They love hearing your stats. They love hearing what's going on. because 69 days until college football, Steve. 69 Six, days. 69 days. We're still going to get into some baseball, too, and we're going to talk. We were just getting the Hollywood shit. shit. going on in baseball. We were just getting the Hollywood shit. Listen, a lot of money in baseball. Don't you right ever think that I will outline our podcast to talk about fucking Hollywood because there's no money or people ain't getting paid on fucking sports. And I'm glad you brought that up. 
Basketball is over. Get over it. Basketball's done for a couple Football years. is over. Basketball okay. will be back in October. So in the sports betting world, the average Joe, like these little, you know, people are shut down and nobody's any, making any money. What's VIP sports doing football, right now? Because I don't want to – you tell me what we're doing. Football will be back in August. No, Skip. Basketball will be back in October. What right the fuck now, are we making, doing right now, right Skip? Right now we're making so much fucking money betting baseball. Hello? That you don't need to worry about uh, football, basketball, <laughs> hockey's over. Uh, congratulations uh, to the Chicago Blackhawks. Blackhawks, man. I can't Black even Hawks believe we won. fucking... We forgot to talk about the Stanley Cup. Blackhawks got Black the fucking job done. the Stanley Cup while we were away. Okay. Bottom line is 69 days till college football. Don't worry about hockey. Don't worry about football. Don't worry about uh, basketball right now. Just go to VIPSportsLasVegas.com. We are kicking ass in baseball on a regular basis. You want to talk about some of the surprises in baseball? Here, I just want to say one thing because I see you're turning red, ready to explode. On, ready to explode I, I, I can you tell. Want to talk I'm, baseball. You're ready to. I, I'm I know. Ready to go. Right, right. Well, that's why I had to calm you down, ladies and gentlemen. The point I was trying to say is. There's more to fucking life. There's more to sports betting than football and motherfucking basketball. People like betting sports. People like betting basketball. They love playing football, betting football, because you get to see it on TV. Mm -hmm. There's more money to make in baseball than any other sport in the fucking world. I've said this over and over. I've said it on the news. I've said it in Playboy. I've said it on ESPN. I've said it on CNBC. I've said it on every network in the motherfucking world. There's a reason why you can bet a half a million dollars on a football game. There's a reason why you can bet $100,000 on a basketball game, but you can only bet five dimes on a fucking baseball game. It's hard to get big action in on baseball. you got to spread your money all over the Ladies town. and gentlemen, it's because you can motherfucking win. Now, not to be rude, ladies and gentlemen, but we do got to get cocky as the number one documented sports service in the motherfucking world. Yeah, we're 17-4 and four out of our last fucking 21 games in baseball. Yes, we are against the spread. Anybody that tells you they're doing better, they're fucking lying Absolutely to you. Absolutely destroying the baseball books. We're making Destroy them. Guys, right now you need to either run with us or get ran over. If you like making money, if you like getting paid, call VIPSportsLasVegas.com and start fucking beginning your future in the winning fucking side. I got one dime betters. What that means is $1,000 per game. One dime betters that are making $15,000 a week betting baseball right now. That's Did you hear what he just said, That's guys? That's no joke. Thousand dollar players making fifteen thousand in one week. My, I seen it. My five hundred dollar players are picking up five G's a week right now, like clockwork. So if you're a two hundred dollar better, if you're a smaller guy just getting started with a small bankroll, we love you too. A two hundred dollar better, I'm making you fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars a week in baseball right now with Steve's plays. He's I'll, absolutely on fire. Skip. Go to the website, give us a call. And uh, let's go make some money. Let's pay some bills. Let's get that bankroll set up so that when football does start again here in another 69 days, you're nice and fat. Your bankroll's nice and fat. Amber alert. Amber alert. Amber alert. It's time to make a bankroll for football. It's time to make a fucking bankroll for football. Right is. now is the time. There's more money to be made. Listen, guys, I don't give a fuck if you like betting fucking baseball or not. I love it. There's more money to make in baseball. Right now, you build a bankroll for football. That way, when football starts, you're playing with the bookie's money, not yours. That way, you can pay your sports consultant his fee off the bookie's money and not yours. Wake the fuck up, ladies and gentlemen. What, wouldn't it be fun to go into the football season this year knowing you had an extra $10,000? An extra 20, extra, 50, 100. A, a $200 better has an extra $5,000 heading into the football season. A thousand dollar better has an extra thirty, forty thousand heading into the football season. When's the last time you walked into the football season knowing that you had your man's money from the summertime, from the baseball? It doesn't happen because walk into the football season with thousands of dollars ready to go to attack your man and have the biggest football season of your life. But it starts right now. Hold on, before you go crazy and talk about baseball and what we've been doing and what the plan is. Besides me sending you out, you've been doing a lot of scouting. Doing I know I sent, scouting. I I know I sent a My four thousand dollar thing over there, yeah. so. My son and I have been doing a lot of work. Uh, you've been sending me some envelopes. Yes, I've been seeing. But people. you met the batting coach and did that. You walked on the field yes. and heard you got the whole shebang, yes. right? I, I've, I've talked to, uh, yeah. Some, Ladies and gentlemen. Some hitting coaches. Uh, yeah, it's been ex extremely profitable and a lot of good things have happened while I've been on the road. I just want to tell and these I'm going guys. Back out on the road, I just want to tell these guys the information why that they should call us. Skip, what information do we get to win in baseball? I want them to hear it from you. Besides, I'm not. And let's be real to our fans. Me sending you out scouting, that's fucking nothing. That's just me wanting you to take care of your kids because you have connections and you go meet these guys that we know for years. Have we hit 80% on some of your sources that you get out there? Yeah, but tell these guys how we win and why we win, please, why we like this blunt.
Baseball is such a profitable sport for many reasons. It's the most consistent sport to bet. They play 162 games during the regular Preach season. Preach that shit. Unlike the NBA, where there's only 80 or two or 84 games a year. Unlike uh, the NFL, where there's only 16 games a year. Uh, you play one game a week. Baseball plays every single day. So, therefore, it's the most consistent sport to track, the most consistent sport to bet on a regular basis. There, there's streaks in baseball that you're not going to get in football or in basketball. Uh, the thing about baseball, there's many, many things I go on and on and on, but the stadiums, different dimensions in different parks, the weather has different effects in different stadiums. Uh, the umpire rotation is key, Steve. Some of these umpires will have a, a, a low strike, a high strike. Some of them will call the corner of the plate. Some of them won't. So depending on who's pitching, what the weather is, what the what ballpark does is the pitcher in, have turf toe? Are the are the fucking six out of the fucking uh, players fucking sick? There's so many variables that go into baseball. <laughs> you can't do it on your own. A lot of guys make a big mistake in baseball, thinking that oh, all I got to do is just bet a minus 200 favorite. Well, guess what? The Yankees were minus 250, minus 280 against the Phillies uh, the last couple of days, and the Phillies beat them the first two games in the series. Let me make you one. You can't do this on your own. You let, can't. You can't be out there trying to pick 200 favorites and think you're just going to win on your own let, in baseball. Let you, me make. You can't be dumb. Let me make one fucking thing clear, guys. If you're looking for statistics, if you're looking for an injury report. If you're looking for weather, you don't fucking need us. Go watch ESPN. Go watch the weather, Chuck. Go watch fucking ESPN. Go get on scoresandodds.com and go make your own educated decision. If you want a motherfucker that deals with players, coaches, CEOs, a guy that fucking does whatever it takes to get the job done, then call us. We do whatever it takes. We deal with the guys that make the motherfucking line. I deal with the guys that make, I'm third generation born and raised in Las Vegas, period. I'm the modern-day Lefty Rosenthal. Nobody wins more games than me, period. Do I lose games? Absolutely. fucking lutely But as long as I win three games to everyone I lose, that's all that matters. Ladies and gentlemen, there comes a time where you to have something special happen to you. I know that you live your life and shit happens to other people, and a lot of times shit doesn't happen to you, but you deserve a second income. I don't care what you're doing out there. Nobody has enough money to where they don't need a second income. There's more money to be made in sports betting right now than any other investment in the world. All I ask you guys is to give us the opportunity to showcase our talent. If you've never bet sports before, that's okay. You get us a call. We'll show you how to get set up. We'll get you started small with like a $500 bankroll. Crawl before you walk. Walk before you run. I want to, listen, my job in life, everything that I stand for, everything that I fight for has been dedicated to providing the best sports information available. Whether I got to get on the field with a baseball bat and hit a player over the fucking face, whether I got to put a uniform on, paint my face and get it in the game and hit the goddamn home run. All I need you guys to do is run the bases. Give me 1% of your trust and confidence. Let me take you to the promised land. There comes a time where you deserve to shine. If you want to go over and beyond, if you're tired of being broke, if you're tired of your situation right now, if you could use a couple extra thousand dollars a week during the summer to buy yourself a couple different things, now's the time. Let me help you make more money than you've ever made in your entire life because you fucking deserve it. Amen. Steve Stevens is going to take you over and beyond. I'm on top of the mountain looking down. Amen. All you got to do is grab my hand. I'll bring you to the top. Never like a pig because a pig is a cop. You didn't catch that one, did you, Skipper? VIPSportsLasVegas.com. We fucking love you. At the end of the day, all we want to do is make you money. Little quick question before we leave out of here. In their prime, in their prime, Mike Tyson versus Ali, who wins? Ali. Hands down, huh? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to go to VIPSportsLasVegas.com. You answer that question right there with your opinion and get a motherfucking free game on Steve Stevens. How's that sound? There you go. I'm in a good mood today. We're kicking ass in baseball. We just want to sum up everything of uh, what's going on. Podcasts are back. We don't have our full schedule yet. Remember, this is our second video podcast. We're doing five of them before our deal starts. Remember that. We're doing five. These are just play around. Check one, two, one, two. These are just to make sure the cameras are working. In a couple days, we'll do one where our sales force comes in. But we're back from our hiatus. I had my son. Skipper's back with us. Golden. I had my son. Jesus, that weed must be fucking good, huh? I had my son two years ago. Yeah. <laughs> Just had my beautiful baby girl, Abrielle. I love you. Golden State, congratulations on the championship. American Pharaoh, you run your fucking foamed your ass up till you got you a goddamn. You fucking fucking foamed your ass up till you got a triple crown. Go shoot some nuts and make the owner millions of dollars. Hey, Rod, still hitting the ball. Sure's are fucking kicking ass and taking names. And hey, I want to give a shout-out to the U.S. women's soccer team this afternoon. Good luck against China. 
Go kick some motherfucking ass, kick girls. Kick your fucking ass, because China whoops our ass and everything else. Let's go win. Listen, any listen, guys, like I, it's like I said in the Floyd Mayweather fight when he was fighting Pacquiao, you undercover hating ass Americans. When an American's fighting a, a different country, you always go for the American unless you're not American. Just remember that, guys. Go USA, let's go kick China's ass, and let's go break them off something proper. But more importantly, Skip, you're doing good. The sales force is doing good. All these other services are dead. Nobody's making money. That's because nobody has clients. We get between 50 and 100 internet orders a day. We're kicking ass and taking names, and I just want to thank everybody. I'm truly blessed uh, for being in the position I'm at. And, and I want you guys to understand one thing, man. I don't get paid unless you do. I work off commission basis only, so if you like making money, you're going to love me. Give me a call and let's get paid. Um, just want to sum everything up. Like I said, Scherzer's a fucking beast. Uh, don't worry about football being over. Don't worry about basketball. The real sports betters bet baseball. Would you agree with that statement right there, Skip? Absolutely. You want to make money? If you're serious about making money and building that bankroll for the football season, go to VIP Sports, LasVegas.com. If you never bet baseball before, don't get scared. We'll, we'll walk you right through it so there's no mistakes. If you don't like watching baseball, if you're one of those guys or girls out there that thinks it's like watching paint dry, don't worry about it. You don't have to watch the games to make money. If you got your money in McDonald's stock, you don't work the drive through window, do you? All right, let me step up as a salesman real quick. For you guys out there that listen to these podcasts, that think you don't have enough money because you're a young kid, you're in college, you're an older guy and you don't have any money, listen, I don't care if you got to grab a ski mask and a shotgun and go to the local 7-Eleven to come up with a couple hundred dollars to get invested with us. That's what you need to do. Because at the end of the day, I'm going to make you more money than you've ever made in your entire life, and you deserve it. Everybody deserves a little boost. Everybody deserves a fucking adrenaline shot. It's the same thing I did to this industry. This industry was dead till they met Steve Stevens. I gave it an adrenaline shot, went and did my TV show, and showed America what the fuck we do, and showed America that there's a guy out there who can actually do what he says he does, and that's win games more than any other motherfucker in the world. I'm proud to be who I am. I'm proud to work for you. And if you want a guy that's going to go to war for you, call VIPSportsLasVegas.com. Skip, I love you. VIP Sports, I love you. Our fans, I love you. But more importantly... Abriel, I love you, baby girl. Blessing them that I've never had. Uh, you changed my life. VIP Sports, Steve Stevens, one of the four Kingsmen, Jordan, Big Skip, I'm out. See ya. One. But I started out with nothing, dealt me a bad hand, but I still won bluffing. I'm Steve Stevens, I make G's when I'm sleeping. Some cowards shot me up, his name wanted to see me breathing. Nice try, but my bosses never die. Fresh out the hospital, stitched up, getting high in the 